Times or quarters? Help. What can I do for you, Mark? Well, my machine won't work. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I got 45000 on the first two balls and the thing went out. If you get it working for me, I might hit 100000 and get five free games. Yeah. Well, let me see. Oh, look, maybe the cord's your problem. Yeah, how's that? Yeah. All right. You're welcome. for coming by here to see me this evening. My home is yours. Oh. Hello, Spain. Balmy breezes and soft, dark women. <laughs> hey, how about the bullfights tonight, huh? Mm. Yeah, a crowd cheering me, the matador, on. My lady watching from the side. <laughs> a little worried, but proud. Hey, Randy. How come you're always talking to the machine? I like to have somebody to talk to. Mm, yeah, I guess. Give me some of your 7 up. No, get your own. I know what you have in it. Because I've seen you do it a lot. Well, look, you just get away before I throw you out of here, okay? I don't think you would. My brother says you wouldn't even hurt a fly. Look out, Mark, okay? Now. Okay, okay, man. But don't worry, I won't tell on you. Because I like you, even if nobody else does. Really. Yeah, really. Thanks a lot, man. Insight. Stories of modern man's search for meaning. 
freedom, love, insight. All of us would like a life that's all highs and no lows, a life that's free of all pain. But I'm afraid the human condition just isn't that way. Some of us may go for years without serious physical discomfort, but none of us can go for any length of time without psychic pain. Loneliness, guilt, fear, a sense of meaninglessness, it's all part of being human. Some people try to run away from this unpleasant side of being human through drugs or alcohol or frenetic activity of one kind or another. Other people face and feel their pain and they use it to make themselves more fully human. They use pain to expand their consciousness, deepen their freedom, and draw closer to their brother human beings. Why is this? Because pain is the one thing we all have in common. So what are you doing with your pain? What is that all about? Oh, nothing. That kid was just giving me a bad time. I see. How are things at home, Randy? Oh, not bad. Your sister's still having those asthma attacks? Yeah, yeah, but she's OK now. Still a scared mouse, though, like always. Oh. Brother-in-law, huh? <laughs> Who else? The All-American. Well, listen, what happened on that job interview you went on? It was the same story I've gotten the last four times out. One of the bosses had a, a hard-up relative, and they picked him. Man, it figures. Well, that's the way it goes. You have to keep going along and looking for the right break. You've been looking for the ideal, Randy, the best. Life isn't that way. Life is half cream, half vinegar. Oh, come on. The, the reason that I didn't get that job is because I didn't know the right people. I mean, you don't have to make up little slogans for me to figure out what's happening. Half cream, half vinegar? <laughs> With me, it's more like all vinegar. It's no slogan, Randy. That's the way the world is. Life is that type of world. You swallow the vinegar and you know you're alive. And that's where you grow. <laughs> if that were true, I'd be 10 feet tall. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I just wanted that job. Listen, you've got a good head on your shoulders. And things are going to get better. You're going to get a new job. <sighs> yeah, well, anyway, it's no sweat. <laughs> I can just hang in here with the pinballs and make change for my uh, moron friends. Well, listen, uh, I'm going to go. I just thought I'd drop by and say hello. You take care, all right? Yeah, OK, I'll see you. What are you guys doing here, anyway? We came to invite you to a party. At my house. My parents are going to be gone for the whole weekend. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can play and boogie all night. I could really dig that. Which is why we came to see you and to invite you. Hey, you're kidding. Hey, wow, that's really great. I, I, I'm glad you did. I, I'm really getting sick of this place, you know? It'll, uh, it'll be a gas to talk to some real-life people instead of these dumb machines. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Listen, uh, Randy, we need you to do us a favor for the party tomorrow night. A favor? What's that? Oh, well, I uh, told the guys that you could hustle some booze for us. From that friend of yours who works at the liquor store. Oh. You can, can't you? Well, sure, why not? <laughs> Just forgets about my age for me. Mm. <laughs> but I'll need some money. That's no problem. How much do you need? Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Hard liquor. Just anything you can get. Just make sure it's hard and cheap. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 20 bucks? Let me see. We got uh, $25 here. Why don't you throw in a few extra bucks and get as much as you can? All right. Hey, I'll do that. Yeah, I got some bread. Hey, this is great. Hey, tomorrow's a good day for me. It's, uh, it's my birthday. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. More reason to celebrate. Wow. Hey, listen, um... I'll pick up the stuff tonight after work, all right? Hey, that's mm. fantastic, Randy. Hey, you know what? Tracy said you'd be a great guy to bring to the party, and I think she's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> you won't stand us up, will you? Listen, no way. Should be a good party. There'll be some uh, speed and grass and downers there, too, if you're into any of that. Hey, it sounds terrific. It really does. We'll see you about nine, OK? OK, Tracy. I'll be there. OK. I'll see you there, sweet. Yeah. Hey, I'll see you later, all right? Bye. Oh, Tracy. I can't wait to tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe you. Oh, it's me. Hmm. Happy birthday, Randy. Morning, sis. Randy, you're late. You know how he gets. Could you get some silverware on the table for me, please? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hey, listen, now, what's the date today? I don't know, the 23rd, I think, isn't it? Yeah, right, it's the 23rd. What's the rush, woman? Hurry up, Randy. What's for breakfast? Bacon and eggs, just what you like. You got the money for your rent, kid? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, no, I, uh, I ran short. I'll have it for you on Monday. What the hell's your problem? Nothing. I'll get some more. I thought breakfast was ready. I don't see it. Do I gotta wait all day? It'll be right there. Get the drink on. Who cares? Well, I do. You know how he is. Lord knows, Randy, it's been all I can do to keep you here since Mom died. Come on! What's the holdup? It's nothing. Uh, Randy has to be to work early. Yeah? What's so special about today? Nothing. Nothing special at all. Just another day. Shoving in town, people going around, feeling like the clown life is such a bring down. Trying to relate, you can kiss me, Kate, if I take the bait. Life is such a bummer. Anyway, it's pretty heavy, you know, man. Which way is the head? Hey, thank you. Oh. Good morning. Well, where's all the booze? He said he'd be here. He'll be here. Right, Tracy? Oh, he'll be here. I made sure of that. You want to hear some music? How about some Grateful Dead? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever Tracy wants, Tracy gets. Come on in, Randy. Hey, hi, Jim. Hey, listen, man, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, no problem. You're right on time. Come on in. Oh, oh, well, but you got everything. Yeah. I told him you'd be here. Hi, Randy. Whoa. Hi, Tracy. I like your shirt. Wow. Hey, thank you. My, oh, my, you did <laughs> deliver, sweet Randy boy. Come on, let's get with it. I got some serious drinking to do. Hey, Carrie, take it over to the bar and make mine scotch. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sandy, Kim, I want you to meet an old buddy of mine, Randy. Randy, this is Sandy. Hi. And this is Kim. Hi. Hi. I want to thank you for bringing all the goodies. Oh, that was really sweet of you. 
Uh, well, hey, uh, can I get you a drink? Uh, bourbon, scotch, wine, vodka? We've got everything. Thanks, I'll get it myself. Hey, Marty, you want gin, right? Right, right, on the rocks. Right. Hey, you too, Randy. Come on. You brought it all. Uh, here's a little present return. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Hey, will they trip me out? As far as you want to go. You were one, son? Yeah. Better than booze, man. Doesn't mess with your body so much. <coughs> That's a nice cough. Next time, try to hold it in longer. <clears throat> I almost didn't make it here tonight. Like Rod men out. I'm supposed to be with Tracy tonight. I think. Where is she anyway? Hey, does it matter? You're damn right it does. Hey, that's real. <clears throat> well, maybe so. I'm hoping anyway. Hey, don't give up hope, brother. It's all you got. That's all that's you. You know, you are whatever you want. Whatever you want <laughs> reality to be, you know. Hey, is this another lecture on reality, man? I mean, I just had one with a cop yesterday. <sighs> a cop? Yeah. Oh, wow, man, what a bummer. <laughs> what kind of a trip did he lay on you? I don't know, man. So something about cream and vinegar. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was opposite to what we think, you know? For sure. Hardcore reality. Right. You know, I'm sure you said stuff like, you know, the reality of smoking dope or uh, drinking booze or dropping out of school before yeah. your time. You can make millions. But the reality of thinking you can make it with Tracy. You know, or whatever you're into, you know, I probably said they're all escapes, you know. Yeah, right, yeah, that's where he was coming from. For sure. I knew it, man. Anyway, well, what's, what is real to you, man? What is really real to you right now? Day is. Well, why is that so real? Nobody remembered my birthday was today. Oh, wow, man. Happy birthday. Wait a minute, didn't you tell anybody? Yeah, anybody that listened to me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You told them and they didn't remember? This is heavy. What a bummer. <sighs> Get high and forget about it, man. Too much reality. Oh, really? There's your hunk reality for you. Grab it if you can. <laughs> well. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Marty. Hey, what's happening? Uh... <laughs> what have you been into? Well, I just, uh, you want one of these? Oh, I see. You shouldn't take that, man. I know. Hey, I like your boats. Thank you. Yeah, I said. I heard you're doing some heavy macrame. Oh yeah, I'm going to have a, you know, a exhibition. Really? Yeah, at, at the Free Student Center. You want to come? Definitely, man. I've been doing some clay work with pottery. Really heavy. Hey, maybe we could have a. Really maybe heavy. you could be hey, an Tracy. exhibition too. You know? Sure, Give I'll me. do it. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> hey, yourself, Randy. Uh, where, where you been? Uh, uh someplace, so I'm not sure. What? Well, I thought you were with me tonight. <laughs> you cute. Of course I'm with you, Randy. Tonight I'm with you? Yeah, tonight I'm with everybody. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I brought the booze, you know? I just thought maybe you were with me. What do you think, I owe you something? Uh, what's, so, so what if you brought the booze? Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm tied to you. I, tonight I'm tied to anybody I want. That's not what you said last night, Tracy. Look, you came to the arcade. You were looking for me. You said that... Look, man, this is... 
<laughs> this isn't the arcade. Uh, that was, um, I didn't say anything. You're not king of the arcade here. Last night was then, and tonight is now. Hey, hey, don't bring me down. This is a party. We're supposed to have fun, huh? <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sorry if it doesn't leave you with much, but uh, don't count on me. You gotta find your own good time, Randy. Your own good time. Oh. Hello. I see. Hey, Randy, wait a minute, man. Hey, Randy. Uh, hey, listen, man, next week we're having another little get-together. I thought you might like me alone. Oh, wow, man. Hey, what's the matter with you, huh? Hey, what happened? Oh, what the hell happened? Uh -huh. Nobody remembered his birthday. Uh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hello, reality. Hey. Hello, one and all. Hey, hey, I'm sorry I'm late. I've, I've been off to dreamland. Oh, I bet you missed me, huh? <laughs> oh, Spain. The bottle. Where in the hell did I put my... Hello, reality. Hello, reality. Oh. Greetings, my friends. King Randy has come back to his castle. Oh. Oh, hey. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh. My finest, finest island. One of my finest lands. And all, all my loyal subjects. <laughs> happy, happy. Well fed, well boozed. <laughs> Loving me. Mm. Mm. Loving me. Me, their matador and king. <laughs> Loving me. <laughs> I hereby declare one week of reality for this kingdom and all the inhabitants thereof. <sighs> Quiet! 
Rick call an ambulance? I don't get. Guess I wrecked the place up a little, didn't I? What'll I get? You know, you've got a problem, don't you? I mean, the booze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I talked with the doctors. <laughs> they do a real good selling job. What'll I get, Len? I don't know, probation. Maybe the sheriff's honor farm. But, Randy, one thing is for sure. You're an alcoholic. But you can get all the help you need. It's all there for the taking. Well, I guess I better start taking. Oh, hello. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later, OK? Thanks for coming. Sure. Randy? Are you all right, honey? I got here as soon as I could. Tom... Yeah, I know. What's Tom uh, think about all this? Well, it's not going to be easy. Hey. I know, sis. Well, look, uh, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Neither does he. He won't have to take me back. I'm not going back. I've got some changes to make. Changes? Mm -hmm. I've... I've got to find... some quiet place inside myself. A, a real, solid, quiet place. Some place... It doesn't matter if people remember my birthday or not. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who seek to share the good news of God's love with all their brothers and sisters in the human family.